praise the Lord. Raise your hands before the Lord. Raise your hands before the Lord. Father in heaven, your people are gathered to hear and see the great divine. We decree and declare by the power of the Spirit that they be moved to another realm of understanding. That the revelation becomes easier for them to digest. That they understand that if they go for the word, they will come back with a testimony. I speak testimonies everywhere here. Testimonies in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Are you ready? It's going to be a short service, but it's going to be something. I understand most of you are waiting for something to happen that will shift and change your lives. Today is that day. And you understand that as a church, we can literally say this is our first Sunday to do it at the Hippodrome. In an official way of saying, we are no longer going anywhere. We are just here. There is no other venue. Then, of course, we understand that the Hippodrome is just a conference facility. It's not the church building. The church building is about three minutes, four minutes away from here, where we are building. That's the only place we move to from here. And the nicest thing about it is we own all of them. We are not on any mortgage. We don't owe nobody anything. I decree and declare the same grace that is operating in the house to operate in your family. Wherever you are around the world, to operate in your family around the world, to operate in your family. Even those who are here, operate in your family. Debt free house. Debt free home. Peace at your house. Miracles everywhere. That's our life in the name of Jesus. Let's carry another revelation. We are a ministry known for revelation. Sometimes when I go to visit churches around the world, my difficult thing is to deliver what God is actually telling me. Because I can look in the crowd and know they won't understand it. But when I come to... I can just let loose. Kunyanya, kunyanya, kusuka, kunyanya, 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 nekutiba, nwaraso, tato, sonyanyiwa. We go deeper in the name of Jesus because we understand the word. Are you flowing? Turn to somebody next to you and tell them one important thing. Speak to them and say this this way. The sound of the archangel. The sound of the archangel. Are you hearing me? 
Are you hearing me? Zavure no Jalemam. First Thessalonians, chapter number four, verse number 16. While it's, it's there, just raise your Bible and say, this is my Bible. I do what it says I do. I have what it says I have. From this Bible proceeds knowledge and understanding. I receive it today. The Word of God is alive. It is active. It is inerrant and sufficient in its nature. I receive it today. In Jesus' name. I wish you could get this, what I'm about to delve into. Mm -hmm. So the Bible says, Le Rosanfre en Vraliga so Ungradigas. If you will listen to what I'm telling you tonight, even by morning tomorrow, you will be the boss of your area. Even some of our politicians here will be competing and you are going to win. Even at your workplace, you shall be the boss. Your company is taking new shape right now. So here we go. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. It seems as if if you look at it, there seems to be a love of noise and sound in heaven. Ah. I want you when you come out of this place. You are a professor of theology. And then a demonstrator of his power. Because if you go for the word, you will come back with a testimony. I'm going to say it this way. The knowledge I have from the great divide that I have kept for my own house. This service, I'm taking you into my inner courts. There is revelation I only know. And I've used that is not for you. The Bible says it this way. Being established in this present truth. That means, there is, that means there is present truth. There is past truth. There is future truth. So some Christians are using past truth. The Bible says having a foretaste of the glory divine. To test what is to come. This is our portion in Spirit Embassy. The good news world. It's our portion. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven. With a shout. And with the voice of an archangel. Say the voice of an archangel. The voice of an archangel. You can take your seats if you can. Notice here. Notice what he says. He says, with the trump of God, with the voice of an archangel, a mixture of the voice and the trumpet. He says, that combination is the only one the dead can hear. I knew you were not, we were not going to get this. It is telling us that the dead can only hear the voice of an archangel. It, it now stands to reason why the dead people never rise. And a few of resurrections taking place in the church today. Because what we lack as Christians 
is the coding of the voice of an archangel. Let me try this. The Bible says, when the last trumpet shall sound. But imagine he's saying the last trumpet shall sound. Yet we never heard the last second last trumpet. You cannot tell us there is this last trumpet as if I know the first trumpet. Do you know the first trumpet? Have you heard the second one? What about the second last? Do you know how many trumpets were there before the last one? So how am I going to hear the last one? When I don't know the second last trumpet. I want you to see something. It says the dead will rise first. <sighs> I feel this thing. The dead will rise first. When they hear the last trumpet. But notice, we don't hear the last trumpet. We are hearing the echo of the last trumpet. Because the last trumpet is heard by the dead and they rise. We hear the, the echo of the trumpet. They, you see, they're not getting it. Because the sound of a trumpet is only for the dead situation. Those who have heard me preach several times. I always say this in the name of Jesus by the voice of an archangel. And none of you ever asked your question, why is he always saying by the voice of an archangel and he's not an archangel? It's because my vocalization as a prophet is in the same sound wave. I resurrect anything that is dead in your life by the power of the God. Mighty God, you are being resurrected, your finances resurrected, your peace resurrected, your business is being resurrected, everything about you. Most people never ask, why is it that when prophet is praying, he always says, by the voice of an archangel. Because voices are different. And men of God and women of God are not created equal. Have you not read that Jesus took John the Baptist's members? John had a ministry. Jesus brought a ministry. And the disciples of John ran to Jesus. And Jesus never said, go back to your church. And people are fighting for members. Let me go to my people. You, you think I like them? Look at them. You think I like them? They are calling for it. They are, they are calling. And you, you are not calling. They, they are calling for it. One of, my, one of my leaders came and said, said Prophet, you, you didn't come to our side. I said, no, you never called me to your side. <laughs> so you, you never called me. There is a pool in the spirit, a pool, a pool. <laughs> hear this what is it that was in Jesus I want to show you something mm. do you understand something here that the voice of an archangel is the one that can raise the dead. 
So the issue is with the sound. But why sound? I want to teach you something. But I'm trying to get there by saying something. In the garden, there was the tree of good and evil. It was one tree. No, no, they need, they're missing it. It is a tree of good that would lead to evil. I know your mindset is there was a tree for good and a tree for evil. No, one tree. The other tree you are confusing for good is called the tree of life. So there was the tree of life, then the tree of good, knowledge for good, and what? One tree with both good and evil. The idea was not that the fall of Adam. Made the men and the world to fall. No. The world was already fallen. Ooh. Because in the book of Genesis chapter number one, verse number one. In the beginning was. I'm waiting. In the beginning God what? Created the heaven. And what? Verse number two. And the earth was without form. Tohu and bohu. That's the Hebrew for it. In other words, the earth was without form because something had happened between part one and part two. Because in God there is no darkness, no shadow of turning. That's what the Bible says. So now we know darkness was not created. So, so, so. If we find darkness in verse number two, when God starts creating, go verse number three. And God said, let there be light. How can God say, let there be light? Where is the darkness coming from? If he's the one who creates everything. That means there was darkness before there was light. Who created the darkness is the question we need to ask. Who created the darkness? There was chaos in what was called the pre-Adamic race. Let me speak in tongues. There was another world before Genesis 1 verse number 2. Now here is the Bible says, and God says to Adam, be fruitful, multiply, and what? Replenish. The word replenish means to refill. That means the earth was full, got empty. Now Adam, refill. Replenish it. I know. Let me go. This, this is still junior school. Let me see the professors. You hear the professors? Some of you just came. You better angel pray for me. If you go for the word, you will have a testimony. The problem why you move from one church to the other, you are just a spiritual prostitute. A religious Vasco da Gama. Because you don't go for the word. You are just waiting for someone to lay hands on you. Nobody's going for the word. Go for the word. You deliver yourself in your own house. When you come to church on Sunday, it will just be to fellowship with prophet angel. Not for him to lay hands on you. I break that power that the devil has given you to think. You need a man to deliver you. You need the word to deliver you. Fire! Hear me well. Hear me well. So there was nothing in Adam that could actually create until he was created. Listen to me. The biggest mistake of God he acknowledges that was his mistake. 
He said, I regret that I made a human being. You are his biggest mistake. Not because you are evil, but because there was a problem in the plan of God. God was not trying to create you. No, he failed. He was trying to create himself. Now, you see, I knew. <laughs> the program of humanity was not God trying to create a human being. He was busy trying to produce himself, to reproduce himself. He wanted a God and then he got you. That's why Paul says, my little children, I strive until Christ is fully formed in you. What is the whole journey of Christianity? It's for us to become Christ. Do you know when you get to heaven, the Bible does not call us anything less than call joined heirs with Christ. That means on the inheritance Christ is receiving from God, it's 50-50 with you. So... Are you getting this? But why don't we find Jesus Christ in the Old Testament? Why? Why is it that Jesus Christ is not found in the Old Testament? Now sit down, sit down, because I can see you are not getting this. Why is Jesus Christ not found in the Old Testament? Why? Pastor Hukote. Why is he not found in the Old Testament? <laughs> Why? Listen to me. There is a power that when you grip this and understand the generals in the Old Testament were all employing the power of the sound of an archangel that they began to live lives as if they were in the New Testament. Imagine Moses being reminded to go and die. Imagine when a man continues to live until the creator says, I think you need to go. Go unto Mount Nebo, unto Mount Abarim. And Moses said to do what he said to die. Imagine that life was lived by a man in the Old Testament. How much more you? Do you realize you, you are not... All right, let me... See. Do you really realize that we as Christians, we are not even supposed to have funerals? Maybe you're not hearing. The apostle says we have a sentence of death on our lives. Says we are crucified, we are... We, we, we have put ourselves on death sentence, on death row in the Lord so that you may live. The issue of life was actually given by God so that we don't die. I'm talking about we don't expire. Oh no, I knew you didn't get this now. You see how difficult it is when preachers stand before a dead body and they say, yes, he, the Lord gives and the Lord has taken. Blessed is his holy name. A contradiction. Do you know Jesus never attended a funeral service? Oh, you say what about Lazarus? Did it become a funeral service when he arrived? Every time, even Jesus on the cross before he died, what did he say? Lord, I commit my spirit. And the Bible says he gave, up, he gave up the Holy Ghost. 
So, 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 how do you die with the Holy Ghost in you? Now, you see, you see, you didn't get it. Even Jesus knew, for me to die, I need the Holy Ghost to go. Brothers and sisters, this issue of money you are struggling with. That's why God says, everything else shall be added unto you. Added, added. The car will be added. The business will be added. Added. I'm about to go deeper on this lesson because I can see we were just scratching the surface. Building the blocks. Sit down. Now hear me well. Why is it that we do not find anywhere in the Old Testament with the name of Jesus? Are you flowing or have you gone home? Paraze ver koralegus kesasa. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Are you hearing me? Parozivali shole ganomo. Paratiza kran legi se breto zanes. Feruza frela kran da zalisho. Ifeno marades. Pasono hu kote. Pasono. Who got a personal? Who got a? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Paraza, you know, a fradigas delish. I want you to get it. In the Old Testament, we find areas that show us men of power, and one man that has been ignored by a lot of theologians is the name Adam. Adam was one of the most powerful men to ever live. To the extent that when Adam fell, the Bible says the whole ecosystem and the stars went out of alignment. The sun went out of alignment. The planets went out of course. So who was controlling the planets? There is a message people do not touch. That Adam was one of the most powerful people. But notice when Jesus comes, the Bible says he is the second Adam. He is the what? The second Adam. If he is the second Adam, the word that appears as the second Adam or the last Adam, it means the last in series. Imagine you have an A class or an S class Mercedes Benz. And then you have S320. Then you have S this, S that. Until they say we are no longer making S classes anymore. This is our last. So if Jesus was the last Adam, do you think the first Adam was powerless? In the Garden of Eden, Adam was getting information from a tree. The tree you think was the tree of good and evil was the place where Adam would get information. Everything about Adam was obtained from a tree. Even today, you are getting oxygen from medication from that was the plan of God to give Adam life through a tree. Because he was a carnal man, a man of the flesh. But in the same garden was also the tree of life. If God had allowed by divine providence for Adam to eat the tree of life, there was never going to be a sickness on earth. Hear this. But Adam had a problem called a wife.
I hear someone saying, let's just skip that part and we move on. You were doing right, prophet. I don't know where we are going with this now. Are you hearing me or you've gone home? So there is an issue here that the woman comes in, but the devil speaks to the woman, not to the man. If you look in the book of Genesis, you will not find anywhere where God created the earth. Let me teach my students here. Because I've said to people, if you can find the location where God actually dictated from his mouth how he is creating the earth, I'll give you money right this minute. I know what you're thinking. Let's go verse number three. Of Genesis chapter number one. So you can see it. I want to take you somewhere. You'll get it in a few minutes. The voice of what? The voice of what? Of an archangel. I want to show you something. So that we... We, we get it. Are we going to get it? Yes. Are we going to get it? Yes. If the media can get what I'm about to give them, in the order I'm giving them. I think all of us heard that we're giving them in the order I'm giving them, right? Thank you. You are helping me. You are my witnesses in all Judea. In Samaria. Because we know our guys, our guys will do some funny stuff. Are you getting this? In the order I'm giving them. I'm expecting the media to receive it now. Pray for them. I actually send them, but they are sitting there, they are hearing me, but they are not opening their eyes. Are you getting this? Are you getting this? Are you getting it? Are you getting it? And God said, let there be light. He said what? Let there be light. And there was light. Let's go quickly because of time. And God saw that the light and it was good and God divided the light from the darkness. I don't want to tell you to continue. And God called the light day and darkness called. Do, do you notice there is no tree being created there? We will create trees later. But do you notice there is no mountain? The actual rock called the earth is not there. Let's go. And God the light day. He's simply dividing light. But the earth, the solid rock, no. Let's go. Darkness and God said, let there be firmament. Oh, let's go. Seven. And God made the firmament, divided the what? When was water created? Mm -hmm. We are still waiting. Thank you. Even this group is like eight. Let's go to eight. <laughs> And God called the firmament heaven. Let's go. And God said, let's go. And God called the dry land. Wait, 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 wait. Who created the dry land? When? The earth was not created. Not here. Before this, that's why your science book still has a Zinchanthropus. There was another type of humanity which existed there. No, nah, no. Nah. I know you are not getting me. On the okay, sit down. I know what you're thinking. Oh, man of God, you're not under. No, 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 no. Adam was special. He had the, the face of a man was like, you joking? There were four animals on the throne of God. What were they? The, the four living creatures says what? One face is what? 
Lion, another one. An ox, another one. An eagle, another one. Face of a man. It had the face of a man before a man was created. See, I, I, I can tell you're not getting what I'm trying to say. How do we have a face of a man? When the face, the man was given a face later on. So which type of a man was being copied by the creatures of God? I knew you were not. Let me go to London. Which man? <laughs> Which man was actually out of the midst thereof came the likeness of all creatures and there were appearance they had the likeness of men. Huh? How can you have a man? So God was sitting on the throne with the light, with men, uh, with, with, with four creatures around him and then one had the face of a man. And then he said, let us make men in our own image. Wait a minute. But there is there is a creature with a face of a man. Which man? The man that existed before Genesis 1 verse number 2. Now you say, no, no, no. But the Bible says, let us create men. Now notice the qualifier. Let us create men in our own image. When he said, let us create men, the other ones didn't say, what is a man? They all knew what a man was. But this man was now different. He was in I know you are not getting me at all. So the earth was already fallen before Adam came. So God put the man in a place called Eden to try and teach him a culture that would affect the fallen earth. Now nah, I see you are not getting me at all. Darkness was upon the face of the deep. There was chaos everywhere. And God said, let there be light. How is this world falling? It was already fallen. So Adam is being told, I'm now restoring something here. From its fallen state. But I have another plan on the new one that I'm making here. The, the feeling that I'm putting in this. I have another plan. You will survive in a location called... Eden. And the word Eden means spot or environment. This is why they have not found the geographical location even by archaeology. They have not found the exact location of Eden. The earth was not Eden. Eden, when it says the garden of Eden, it means the garden that belongs to Eden. And God planted trees. These were not agricultural trees. Sit down. You honestly think that a snake came in front of Adam and Eve and spoke with a tail going all over the place? I understand that, that Eve will not be a black woman. White maybe, yeah, white, yeah. Because only a white person can have a snake as a pet. What is this snake for? Ah, just play around with it. Which is just black people. So if this was a real snake, I know if 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 was not black. You just, even if you take a photo with a small snake like this, you are a witch in the black man's head. You are a witch. This was not the snake you are thinking of. There was something about that snake that the Bible says, now, hear this, you can only eat soil. No snake eats soil. So is it that God was lying? Or he didn't know snakes? Or didn't create snakes. 
or we are missing the point. Says, from this time you shall eat only soil. In other words, the man that is created by God, his spirit, soul, and body, the devil is being given authority to touch the flesh that was made from soil. You're missing the point. You're missing the point. So if I take him to the spirit, the devil can't touch me. But if I put him in the flesh, he will touch me. Because now I'm in the area that he's allowed to touch. I haven't even touched what I want to talk about. I want the media to put the first part. Aruzalesh Akus. These are the names. Are you hearing? These are the names that are in the Old Testament. The first names in the Old Testament. Let's go. God, Adam, Seth, Enosh, Canaan, Mahalel, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah. Let's go to their meaning. I want you to understand this. So if you go to Noah, the last one, right? It means what? Comfort. Rest. In which you go, those in despair, his death shall bring, instructing that, shall come down. Now, let's go to the, all the names. That means all the ten first names of the Bible prophesy Jesus. The God man is appointed a mortal body or a mortal man of sorrow is born. So the glory of God will come down instructing that his own death shall bring those in despair comfort. You are not getting what I'm trying to say. Do you realize that even the words in the beginning, the three words in the beginning prophesy about Jesus' death. If you take them and write them in Hebrew and start explaining, it actually means Jesus Christ or the Son of God will die on the cross by his own hand. Now hear this. I know you're not getting me. I know your complaint. Your complaint is I skipped Cain after Adam. Let's go with that one, with Cain. The word Cain means a spear. The God man threw a spear. And the Bible says when he was on the cross, they put a spear on his side. No, you are not here. The God man by a spear is appointed a mortal sorrow so that the glory of God, now the death of Christ is included the moment you put Cain. And it now prophesies exactly how you will die. And what weapon should be used. Are you flowing or you've gone home? Sit down, sit down, sit down. Let's proceed with this. So why is it that the name of Jesus is called Emmanuel in the Old Testament? <laughs> Why is the name of Jesus called Emmanuel in the Old Testament? Why are we not seeing it in the New Testament? I'm telling you this to explain to you that miracles come by you vocalizing the voice and the vocal cords of an archangel. But that's what you lack. How is it that we minister here and we can tell oil to come? And oil appears. We can call money. Why is it money can't hear you? Don't you have the same mouth? Don't you pray five hours a day? Some of you are on seven hours. Nothing comes after seven hours. Nothing. There is something about spiritual data. You lack understanding of how to call to the point that Christianity now, in this world right now, most Christians that we have now, are, we are the weakest generation, yet with the most dangerous weapons apply, supplied to us. We are the best generation, but the weakest. 
We should be the most powerful. Christianity has just become an ideology where we argue with others. Muslims can come and argue with us and it's just who gives the best points wins. I was in, um, in Dubai and I bought my ring and I was supposed to buy Prophet is a ring. So we get into this jeweler shop and there is this Muslim guy. And I think a few minutes of seeing protocol moving with me and stuff like that got him confused. It's like, who is this guy? So I said, I'm coming back in a few minutes. So we were there. You might think, okay, is that your marriage day? No. We don't, we don't renew vows. They are never old. It's only the rings. I can see you're jealous in one room. It's too much. Just do like this. Do like this. Say, Father, forgive me for my jealousy. Thank you. Now, just imagine. This man said, so what do you do? I said, me. He said, yes, what do you do? I said, oh, I hear from God. He said, I've just seen here that they say you are a prophet. I said, no, they don't say it. I can prove it now. I said, okay. Just do what you do. I told him what was written on his mother's grave. You know the grave? The head is on that one. This, that. It's like, how do you know? He took his, his workers and put them in the back room and left me with my protocol there, with Pastor Ricky there, and all this. And he's talking and he's, he's like, man. I said, now, Wednesday you received a letter. And that letter said, your mortgage has been denied. He started asking, who is he? They said, yeah, the same guy you said. Because in the Quran, they think Muhammad is the last prophet. He is not even the first or the second last or anything. Oh, he's not the prophet. No. So I said, whatever I'm doing now, tell me what it's called. Because I'm also confused. Since you think there is no other prophet, tell me what I'm doing now. What is it called? He said, man, how do you do this? I started going deeper, going deeper until the man wanted to hear. One of our guys here brought a Muslim brother to my house. He just arrived with him and I said, oh, look, want to talk to me? No problem. He's a businessman here. One of these multi-millionaires here brought his Muslim friend and he sat down with his Muslim friend around. We put a fire there and we're sitting down and the guy said, okay, so you're a prophet. I said, uh, yeah. He said, what do you do? I said, I can do it now. He's like, now? I said, now. Are you ready? He says, ah, yeah, just, just do it. So he's doing this thinking, I will not go deeper. I ended up on his fifth boy girlfriend. He just looked at this guy like, huh? I said to him, do you, does he know about your girlfriend? He said, never. Then I mentioned where his mother comes from. And that was Ukraine. I went to Ukraine. Mentioned the father's father. Mentioned what she did there. Mentioned their name and their middle name. Left that place, went to Dubai. When before the journey he made to Zimbabwe, I said, your uncle wanted to give you this and this and this. He said, you know what? Is this, this, this Christianity thing? Can I receive it now? He turned to his friend and said, uh, you know what this man did? Eh? Ah, These people are confusing us, man. This, this guy is a prophet, man. Reality, my brothers and sisters. Reality. 
Say so these people are just confusing us. This is a prophet. <laughs> are you flowing or you've gone home? Are you flowing? Zekobara. Zekoburedi Alesh. Pa. Pasono hukote. Pasono hukote. Ezabush, Ezuma Gradezama, Chale Suzakran. I just want to give you this so that you, you find it exciting. I get it. But I want you to see from there when we go to the next generation. It's like it's already written, and I'm going to tell you in a few minutes. All right, it is some. I'm just waiting for media to receive it. So, when you see the power that we have, when we start demonstrating that power, it's not some by chance we demonstrate it more than others. No, it's the information we have. Are you hearing me around the world? Are you hearing me? It's the information we have. Information makes you a king. What do you think is the difference between you and a rich man? Information. I know what you think. Government contacts. Those same government contacts are made by information. You need to know who to connect with. Listen, everywhere on earth is about who you know. You have power because you know Christ. It's all about who do you know. Are you flowing? Hear this. I want you to see the next generation. Put it up there. It's what? Ehud. Eliakim. Azor. Zadok. Akim. Elud. Eliezer. Matham. Jacob. Joseph. Emmanuel. Jesus Christ. Do you see that? When we get to the end, my father who is glorious, my God we will raise up a helper, the just one, we will the Lord raise up. My Lord God is my praise. God will help. May the gift of God increase for God who is with us, the Messiah, the Savior, those called out of Babylon. Everything, if you read it, you realize that everything makes sense to the end. The Bible is written in such a way that there are codes inside. Do you know a man called Eliao Rips? He created what is called the Bible Chords. Are you hearing me now? He created what is called the Bible Chords. Are you flowing? I'm waiting for this to go. Media takes its time to think. He created what is called the Bible Chords. The Bible Chords um things that you can put your name no, no I'm not telling you this one because I know you people you can put your name like this and it will be crossed with what will happen to your life ah. no you see this is something I'm thinking of doing it now Are you flowing? Are you flowing? Now, I just want to give you this. Hope you guys are going to be on. I know I'm taking my time to do this, but it's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's amazing. I want to show you, which will be a very good thing to show you. Let me give you this one. So, let me show you this. And Isaac Newton was the first one to try and create it. But in those days, there were no computers for him to do what I'm about to show you. 
Are you, have you received it? Now, so what they do is they put it in a Hebrew text and feed your name in it. And it will give the main things that will happen to life. And only the Bible could do it. So, when he saw this, he went to give Yitzhak Rabin. And when he stood there, he told them, this is what I saw in the Bible codes. They ignored it. Put it up there. Hope we have time so that you can see. It's taking time, but it will come. Are you flowing or have gone home? Are you flowing? Why are these things there? There. They put the name, and you see, with this one, it says, assassin will assassinate Yitzhak Rabin, and the name of the assassin came out. A year later, after this came out, he was assassinated on the exact day the Bible calls it revealed. This is just a text in a book. Like you take the book of Isaiah and you feed a name. Out of that book of Isaiah, it has an equal skip and it gives you the number. Gives you what will happen. Okay, let me show you another one. Are you here or you've gone home? Taralos emanos queberos sabales. Ah... I know you're not hearing me at all. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Ah, yeah. oh, la, 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 la. Staking, okay. This is something that will amaze you. This is just the Bible, all right? I know you came here for miracles to take place and stuff like that. It's brilliant. Thank God for you. But it's important to know what you believe in. This is not the proof you need. But I'm just trying to show you things that you never thought of. At least you know this, so I'll give you this. I told you it's going to be a short service. I want to show you something you're already well aware of. When it's ready, media, let's try and hurry. Our people are waiting to see this thing. Imagine they had to go to a computer. Yet a Christian like you and I are there. We could tell them before it happens. You will develop a voice. No matter who you are. You will develop a voice that you will speak a thing. And it will happen. Here we go. The twin towers. It came out. Crossed with an aeroplane. Terra. Matire. Twofold. Strikes. Will collapse. Will bend. In one chapter, crossing each other. That there are going to be two towers in America that will burn. The aeroplanes will run into it. Before they were hit. They just took the Bible in Hebrew and put it there, the Old Testament, and said, there it is. Put names. Put America. Put New York. And boom, there it came. The Hebrew language is different. And the Hebrew Bible is different. To the point that if you write the words tithe, there will be just one something like, just a marker like this, like a comma at the top. If you remove that comma from the word tithe, it becomes prosperity. I could tell. I could tell you didn't want to hear this. One simple dot changes the word from tithe to prosperity. The Bible is well crafted. What you have in your hands. The Bible says for God who does everything after the counsel of his own word. That means God is corrected by his own word. Then you know what God did? He gave you the word and said do just like I do. God who does everything after consulting his own word. That scripture does not mean to say God opens the scriptures like this, like this, and says, oh, what did I say? He knows what is in there. And he's confined to the words. Do you understand that your prayer 
limits God. No, they didn't get it. God is bound by your words. If all you want is two dollars, God now goes like, oh my God, I wanted to give him one million. But since he has done two dollars, we'll give him two dollars. My son, Evangelist Mparinga from Zimbabwe here, went to a farm around here and began to pray there and people saw the power of God and they were so excited that the power of God was moving. And do you know what happened? He said, now it's time for prayer requests. Mercedes Benz, cars, everything you need, houses. All the prayer requests, the highest object that was there was a mountain bike. Six gear. Even here, if I say a house now, uh, you will see the prayer request that will come. This one, I will not mention the locations, you get angry. You will see that there will be problems of faith. See that I'm telling you now. So how did these people in the Old Testament develop a voice and a sound that could change things? Number one, they understood that there were voice calls that could be listened to, to by creation. A sound of an archangel. That the Old Testament people were powerful, but they were not supposed to be as powerful as us. This is why we still call the children of Abraham. If we were more powerful than Abraham, we would be called children of Abraham. No. But imagine how slow we have become. Because in our minds, we are busy trying to become what God had not created us to be. God was creating a God. And we become little. Who can stop you if you're a God? Who can stop you? I said, who can stop you if you're a God? Who? You know, I've developed a mind now that I sit here and, and money will look for me. Let me say... Ah, ah. Ah, I was outside there with director of assets and he was outside there and my people there and I said, how much do you need? She mentioned a few thousands. And I said, okay, 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 okay. I said, I want to show you all of you how I can call money. I said, I call this amount now. So people are out there looking around, looking around, looking around. I said, God, don't let these people be encouraged to give, to meet this. I want them to see money coming here. It's a few minutes we are sitting with them like this, just sitting like this. One person comes, I have sent money like this to the account. And one of it was like, it had three something, something, you know, the last digits, like seven, five, the last digits of the money. And then another one, put another one with the 25 at the end so that it can be an equal figure. Then another one came and the exact money with the dollars to the end. I literally said, everyone who is here, don't give nothing. And don't call anyone to give. And I'm not calling anyone. We're just sitting here. You will see. That amount will come. You are sitting there like this. May you command it. I said, may you command it. I said, may you command it. <laughs> Some of these things require commanding. What have you commanded lately? What power has yielded to your power? There is a voice of an archangel. You need to know the codes to release it. Understanding something. Sit down. Yes. So I'll give you yes. the technical bits and pieces. Because I don't have time. Some of you require me to pray for you and the other things and stuff like that. And around the world, people are waiting. Sadu zega lo sevran. Eskuran de gratalagisias. 
So now, why then don't we have the word Jesus in the Old Testament? There are people who had a certain life that understood the dynamics of God. And they could put God in a corner. To the extent that Moses says, repent from your anger if you want to kill Israelites. And God repented from his anger. Moses was so clever, he could put God in a corner and say to God, if you are going to kill them, kill me first. Moses was dangerous. Moses, how are you killing your own people whom you took out of Egypt? Why let your enemies say, so he took them out of captivity so that he could kill them? And God would repent. Being told by a mortal man what to do. And God says, yeah, 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 I hear you. Now the Bible says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. This mind, this same mind be in you. Which mind? Says he was equal with God. Nah, see, they didn't get it. They didn't get it. Son, you got it. They, they, they missed it. Let this mind be in you. Which one? The one that is, he was equal with God. You mean I, I need to walk around saying we are equal? Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. What was the mind? Who being in the form of God. So I'm in the form of God. Ah. Thought it not robbery to be equal with God. See, see, right this place, religion has entered you. You are like, ah. You mean like equal, equal, equal. <laughs> Do you understand these things or not? I told you, Ovid Ahosam broke his leg in 10 places. Pam, 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 10 places. Hit by a car, flew in the air. Went to hospital. The doctor said, oh, the healer is here. He said, yes, I'm here. You are here? Yes, I'm here. Why? Are you not supposed to be healing people? He said, hey, no, no, I wanted to see you. The man said, so, so you come here, why didn't you heal yourself? He said, there was no other way to meet you. If I had not broken in 10, there was no other way to meet you. He said, so how are you going to get healed by my medication? He says, no, you touch me, God touches me, I'm well. So he went there, he put the dead as they do with a plaster. He said, you're going to be out here maybe in a month or three weeks. He said, no, never. I'll be out by tomorrow. He said, no. He slept in the bed, lay in the bed like this, and he heard a voice. It holds her. You are healed. He said, doctor, I'm going home. Remove your plaster now. I'm going home. Ah! Yay! That is in your blood. Ah! Hey! Sit down. What is this? What causes men to be like this? I talk of it a horse. Why? Because he's the father of my father. You know Oye Depo? Was the son of Ida Hosa. I tell you his story. Every time I tell you his stories. The wife came and said, the child in the womb is dead. He said, never. Now give me my dinner. Ah. You mean the doctor said the child is dead? Yes. Never. Now give me my dinner. Forget about the story. You, you'll be like, Father, in the name of Jesus, why have you forsaken me? Hey, with all your sins, you're asking, why have you? Why? He thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Ah! Did he not come here to your country? Do you know what he demanded before he got to preach Idahosa in Zimbabwe? He said, I want, I think it's 20. Bring me 20 dead people. 20 cripples. 20 blind. Then I'll come out. They took a dead person to him. And 
as they open him, flies, nunzi. They were dead on the board. He said, in the name of Jesus, resurrect. Nothing happened. Do you know what resurrected? The flies. In his mind, he thought, if the flies can come back to life, the men can come back to life. He says, men, come up! And the men resurrected. Listen. Why? He had the mind that he was equal with God. He thought it not robbery. See, when we say things like this, that's when you hear people getting confused. Why is he saying this? Are we equal with God? The Bible says he called them gods. If he called them gods, to whom the scriptures came to, the word of God came to, that's the book of Psalms, came to, what does it mean? Even the book of, even in the New Testament it says, ye are gods. Ye are what? Ye are gods. And scripture cannot be broken. No, no, no. I'm not the one. You see, I have very slow people in the back there. I'm not the one who is saying and scripture cannot be broken. It is the scripture that actually says it. Ye are gods. And scripture cannot be broken. Ye are what? Notice Notice here, Jesus answered, it is not written, is it written, ye are gods. Mm -hmm. And what? If he called them gods unto whom the word of God came. Ha! Hands is shock or no in the kuma gods. So and to parts out there. Hands are and look parts out there. I rain kumuka, ruinda kush. Rinogo fit wakuna namari chete mwari. You, what you don't understand is when you read the Bible, what are you doing? What is God? He is what? Light. I know you were about to say spirit. And I was about to say no. Ah, oh, prophet, but he says God is a spirit. Yeah, because that's the thing you can understand. The Bible is written in a language you can understand. God is beyond spirit. You know we say God is light. Yet the Bible says he lives in total darkness. With pavilions of darkness around him. And then the Bible says in him, light and darkness are the same. Ha. So what is he? Is he light? Is he darkness? Do you think when the Bible says God is a consuming fire, he's talking about fire? It knows the thing you think. If I say it, you can only liken it to fire because that's where your senses can go to. You're missing it, right? God is complicated to be described by words. Language is too limited to understand God. Oh, I will, I will teach you into a professor. Sit down. Here it is. Why is there nothing in the Old Testament telling us about Jesus. Very simple. We've already seen the prophecies of Jesus. But notice in the Old Testament, and I have to rush on this one. The name Jesus could not be there. The reason is simple. Because the name Yahweh, the one you know, is your behavior hey. Which is just a combination of W, Y, and W, and H, and a V. Are you, are you here? Why do we get the word Yahweh in your Bible? Why is there the word Yahweh in your Bible? Because it is taken from the word Adonai. Oof. I wish I needed to just have a college. 
It is taken from the word Adonai. And in English, you have what is called consonants. And vowels, R-A-E-O-U. That one, that one, you got it. That's a power, A, E, I, O, U. So when, you, when they started looking for the name of God, they removed the word that they have, which is Yod, Y, Hey, H, Vav, Hey. Y, H, V, H. Some people would put y, W on V, as the Indians do. Yes, that's why when you see an Indian interpret or uh, uh, translate water or rather they pronounce water, they say water. Because W and V almost the same, even in the Hebrew. I know you'll be laughing at them as they say water. But it's really the way you do it. So Yahweh is not the name of God. I knew that's why we had one song in our ministry that had Yahweh and Hosanna. Hosanna is for the Jews. You can't sing it. I'll get another time for me to teach you those things. The word Yahweh simply means I don't know the guy. So when you sing Yahweh in a song, you are simply saying, I don't know the God I don't know. Uh -uh. I'm, I'm going to leave it here because I, I know. I said I'm going to have a time for this. Where I teach you about this so you can understand. So there is a significance. Every sound is without, there is no sound without signification. In other words, every sound you speak has a chord. You might not just think you are dancing to R and B. That beat that signifies R and B from pop is being responded to. The question is, are these angels dancing to it or demons? I knew you were not getting me. If the Bible says the voice of an archangel, that means any voice according to scripture has a meaning in the spiritual realm. So even if you stand here and go like mm, 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 without even humming words, there is a demon going like he's saying this. He's saying something. He just sent us to his money. Uh -huh. Yes, just send us to collect his money. This is why when you start singing things that are de dangerous, demonic stuff, you begin to act like the song you listen to. Do you know how many, how many children have been bought under Arakele? Born under Arakele? They didn't get it. Do you know how much men were influenced to be with their wives or their girlfriends? With the sound of Arakel in the background. Tell me how many of you. Have ever been intimate. To the sound of hallelujah. Jehovah you are God. You go like my. my mana. <laughs> Even you you know. Uh, 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 we are not doing this. There is a sound with a code for that type of act. That even demons and angels say, now that's okay, now you can do this. Hmm. <laughs> ah. I get it now. Yes, sir, it's my favorite song. I've asked several people, and I don't want to deal with this. I've asked several people, if you say music doesn't matter, it's okay. What are you really saying? <laughs> when you say music doesn't matter, if it doesn't matter, don't sing it. If it doesn't affect you, why are you playing it? Or it doesn't influence me. Don't worry. Why play things that don't influence you? It's just entertainment. Ask yourself, as I'm being entertained, is Jesus being entertained? Oh, 
How many here know? Oh, that thrills my soul is Jesus. Okay, no one. How many know? Ain't nothing wrong. You hear? With a little. I say, someone is shouting. Imagine the world is so much in you that you can't even hear what God is saying. But you know the song in the world. So when I tell you some of the things, you don't need to sing them. Now hear this. So in the Hebrew, there is the word Adonai, meaning Lord. And then there is what? Are you here? Are you here? Are you here? Now hear this. Hear this around the world. Hear this. There is a move of the spirit. <sighs> Do what you feel. There is a move of the spirit that when you look at it, you realize Adonai is A or I'm talking about leave the consonants alone. A, O, and what? I. Adonai. Now you take those words and put on your hey, A. Then after H you put O. Then you have an, another what? A. Jehovah. That's how they make Jehovah come out of it. It came out of the words Yahweh. But the words Yahweh are only four letters. They don't even have the vowels that were added to them. Oh my God, they didn't get it. That is the word of the interpreter. Putting it there so that they make sense of what is being read. Because in those days, the Hebrew did not have vowels. To this day, it doesn't. Okay. The Hebrew is only written in consonants. No A, no O, no E. So to make people understand Hebrew, they first did it in so to speak so that the other people could speak it. So the word Jehovah you have is not the name of God. It's a combination of Adonai and the yod hey vav hey, which is called the tetragrammaton. Tell someone, tetra, tetragrammaton. They will fire you at your Bible school. <laughs> Even home, you say, sit down here, I want to tell you about the tetragrammaton. They say, get out. <laughs> so when they begin to speak this word, they were dying every time they would call upon the name of the Lord, they would die. It was so powerful it could kill people. And when they died, what happened? The Lord came back and gave them something. Are you hearing this? So Yod, Y, H, V, H. Yod, H, V, H. Was the word we took as Jehovah, Yahweh. It's not his name. It was a combination of Adonai and the four letter words. Why did they become four letter words? Because when the prophets called the name of the Lord in the Old Testament, they would die. They called it twice at the feast of Yom Kippur. And the old prophets would die. Priests would die as they called the name of the Lord. And then they decided, since the name of the Lord is killing us, let's spell it differently. Then they said, okay, remove the other vowels. Remove the other words and the other consonants. Let's just put Y-H-V-H. The tetragrammaton, meaning the four-letter word. That's the one we say is Yahweh, Jehovah. Ah. Then they started dying. If a Hebrew write the name of God, they say G hyphen D. Do you know why? Because they are afraid of losing that one. If they lose it, 
They would go on a funeral procession for seven days. Mourning the name of the Lord that has been lost. So now they have decided no book, Hebrew book, has got G or D. It has got G hyphen D. If they lose that one, they have not lost the name of God. Now hear this. Hear this. Then the prophets decided, so when we write it, we put it as a four-letter word. Then we moved. Then they would call the four-letter word again. And they would die. They realized we are still dying. Then they changed it to a name called Hashem. Hashem means that name. Imagine praying and saying, I pray to that name. And then the priest began to die by calling him that name. And they said, let's forget it. We'll just call him. So they got to a point where they were no longer calling. They were now calling him under the tetragrammaton. As if it's just a spelling. But they would die. Some would live. Some would die. And guess what? The New Testament fails to contain the name that could kill them. Then in the New Testament, it says, and then Jesus was given a name. Ah! Which is this name? The name that they killed. The name that killed the prophets is now with us now. Ah! So what is the name that they forgot in the Old Testament? Jesus. Yeshua. That is the name you now think is Yahweh. The name you call Jehovah in the Old Testament is the name Jesus. But when they would call it, they would die. So generations after generations, for over 4,000 years, they forgot it. It went out of their minds because they didn't want to remember it. So no prophet passed it on to the other ones. That's why when Paul went to a city, he saw a sign that was written to an unknown God. Because they did not want to call his name. So the name you play around with called Jesus. It is the name that used to kill prophets. It's the name that used to kill the priests. To the point that they suggested, let's just forget it. Let's keep quiet. Let's say we don't know nothing about it. Now, you were given that name to use. And you're still not using it. But listen to this. It says, at the name of Jesus, every knee, at the name of Jesus, every knee, at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven, of things in the earth, of things. Do you know hero is not in the spiritual realm? I'm going to bring some photos here, maybe next week. And I'll show you the location. No, it's not. That's what the Bible says, the hero below. Heaven above. I know what you're thinking. Do you know this earth is in the spiritual realm? This is a real estate in the spiritual realm. Okay. Here, there is nothing. Imagine I'm God and there is nothing here. And God stands here and says, you know what, let there be the earth where he is in the spiritual realm and he's calling the earth to be there. So where did he put the earth? In the spiritual realm. That's why I always say he reached out into nothing because he had not created the nothing to reach out to. Then he kept something out of nothing because there was nothing he had created to keep something from. Then he made the earth out of nothing and told it to stay there. Yet there was no there for the earth to remain because he had not created the there for the earth to remain. Ah! Then he told it, stay there. Don't move. And the earth said, yes boss, we will stay there. I know there is no there, but we are here. I know a God that makes a man and nobody is made somebody out of a nobody to tell everybody about a somebody who can save anybody to become a somebody. What don't you have? Dear men, William Marion Branham, 
would be hunting like this. And the Lord said, come out. What do you want, William? He said, I, I've been staying here trying to hunt. I just need an animal here. They said, okay. Create it. Huh? God called William Marion Branham, create it. He looked at it and said, he called the animal. Dear, dear, whatever the animal was, dear, dear. And it appeared. He took his rifle, shot it. And went to it. And when he touched it, he thought it was a fake one. It was real, with blood. I was in a handing. Pastor Brian and other ones that I had in a farm that we were given is so 1,400 or something. We were just plowing there, belonged to a rich gentleman who said, just use it. So we went there in the evening. And we went around in the evening. But in the afternoon, we went there to just measure to see what it is. And they said, oh, it's really about 1,300 hectares of land. And we said, wow. We're going to plow here. We're going to do whatever we want to do. Guess what? Then I said, look, tonight, let's just look around. See if we could hand around. And in the afternoon, as we were moving, we saw a whole, maybe a pack. I don't know what they call that. It's a pack or, or a school of some. Deers just drinking water. I'm talking about 40 or 30 of them. And I said, oh my God, I don't have my rifle. I'm very sharp at these things. And listen, I don't like killing animals. I just want to obey the Lord. You should have a dominion over all the animals, you know. I'm just fulfilling scripture. So I'm in there. And we said, okay, let's go back. We went there, waited until it was evening. We said, okay, let's go back now. I'm holding my rifle like this. And someone is holding their rifle. Well, only two. We moved. Now we started a whole new argument on where the animals were in the afternoon so we could go there because there was water. Someone said it's that side. Someone said it's this side. Someone said it's that side. I said, no, it's not that side. Then all of them agreed against what I was saying. I said, say, no, no, it's not like that. It's not here. It's there. They said, no, 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 no. It's that side. I said, okay, let's go. As we're moving towards it like this, do you know what happened? A light appeared from one end. A clap like this. You want to send just a clap? Papa. Light shone. And like a line of light. Shone. And then another light. I said the angel of the Lord is saying we should not cross this line. That means where you are saying we should go is wrong. Everyone was now scared because. What just happened here? I said, if we go into that one, maybe there is a lion, I don't know. Well, I was getting them scared. They need to believe. <laughs> Imagine you're standing there. Four or five grown men looking at the same thing. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. did you hear that clip? I said, did you see the angel run from there to there? He said, one said, I saw light going there. I said, that's a full grown man, an angel running from there to there, and it's clapping one angle, one angle. Like exactly the fence that they were saying we should cross into the other I said, we, we need to go back. So we, we, we started turning. And I said, I know the waterway that we had here. This is the place. We need to go down there. Everyone said, oh, I don't know. I don't know. And then the angel clapped again to cry and prevented us from going forward. So we turned. I said, you see, the exact location I'm telling you, we are being boxed in by an angel. We went down to the place I had said, that's where the waterway was. And guess what we found? It was there. Are you flowing or have gone home? It was there. Then all of a sudden, as I looked at it, I said, guys, do you see an angel is helping us hunt? Imagine that God was interested even in the... You say God can't give money. God can do this. God, do you understand? When we got there, we didn't find any animal. We came back. God is my witness. We came back, go to a certain location. When we got there, guess what happened? The angel started clapping hands again. Drew a line. I said, we are being boxed here. That means 
the place we can find an animal is there. We stood there and there were, you know, you see, guinea fowls in the air. And then they flew. And now we were arguing now. Which tree did they go to? So I said, it's just this next tree. I said, no, 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 no. It's the tree after that one. So we went like this. We go to the tree. We saw another line being drawn again. Pa, pa, pa. I said, no, let's go back. Shot. Nothing. Missed. We're about to go home. And everyone is excited. That, so angels, why was the angel there? He was helping us hunt, but we've not caught anything. I said, you know, guys, that the time of Branham, he would call things into existence and then he would shoot them. We're in an open place like this. No grass, no overgrowth, nothing. And do you know what happened? Cold. I said, they said, you mean he would just call an animal? I said, yes, he can just say, rabbits, appear now. And they appeared. I was giving an example. You see, they're not getting what I'm trying to say. A simple example. <laughs> A very simple example. And it happened. What kind of God is this? What are we talking about? We are talking about a God that can make you a superhuman. Imagine what the Bible says about Samuel. It says, as long as Samuel remained on earth, the hand of God was perpetually against the Philistine. Imagine someone at home. You have to text Samuel and say, Brother Samuel, are you alive? Say, yes. Say, yes. Philistines cannot do nothing. Hey! There were men of power. Hey, hey. Have you read of Eliezer? Have you read the son of Dodo? Have you heard the mighty man of David? How one came down from the top there. He was up here. And a lion on a snowy day came down. A lion. A hungry lion was in a pit. And one mighty man of David went to the pit. The Bible says. And the Bible says he made the lion, gave it a slave. One slave with one hand, he died. Do you know a hungry lion on a snowy day is looking for food? And the man says, I'll go down there. One defended the field of lentils, beans, with a sword. The whole army of Israel ran away. He was left alone with a sword like this. And the Bible says, until the sword cleaved to his head, became one with his head, killed over 700 people, one man. Have you read of Samson with a jawbone? How he killed soldiers with a jawbone. And the Bible says when he was done, he threw away the jawbone. Ah, what is the importance of that information? Yesterday's weapon cannot be today's weapon. We can speak using the voice of an archangel. And miracles will take place. Ah! <laughs> Are you flowing? Remember the likes of Jekyll. How Jekyll would take cancer out of people's nostrils. Like cancer would be growing like this. We even have a video of Jekyll. He just grabbed it like this and threw it away. Hey, you remember? Remember Tanzania? A woman with a goiter? I grabbed the goiter and removed it. It's on video now. And the lady was like this. Like, where is it? Even your disease will forget it was on you. <laughs> now, you are hearing a man telling you these things. But I'm trying to say to you, you are able to do the same. Gone are the days of weak evangelism. I need people this very week. I want you to go on the streets. Put up a board that says we heal the sick here. And when they pass you say in the name of Jesus be healed. When they find. Now that they are healed. You say yeah yeah yeah. I go to spirit embassy. I'm not a church founder but. It is in this church. The ashes will heal the sick. The protocol will dream, remove demons. Christianity has become weak. 
Because we are telling people, come to the prophet, come to our man of God. That's a very good message. But imagine if you tell them, what do you need? Say, one healing. Say, okay, in the name of Jesus, be healed. They say, ah. What happened? Say, it's what we are taught. They come. I will take you there. You will also be taught the same way. There are people here that can tell you serious stuff here of things that have happened in their lives. Some couldn't give birth. Some were barren. Some had issues with their anatomy. I remember when they came the first time we saw them. A truck had hit. I don't know who was hit by a truck. Me. Me by was me hit by, by a truck. To the point that the, this whole body was in. Yes. And it was like a difference of something like this. Yes, On Baba. the feet. Yes, Papa. On video, I told the other leg to come out. It's still on video to this day. Yes, Papa. And there he is. Yes. Physically. These are not stories. They are not stories. If you just sit here a little bit, you will have people, so many people with, with stories. I was like this, then this happened. I was like this, then this happened. I was like this, and then this happened. Stories upon stories. Reality. No kululu, no kalala. But this time, I'm praying for somebody to go out there and be the ones to raise the dead. Imagine if we have these testimonies. People coming here and say, I did this and I did this and I did this. And the person is here standing next to me. Wow. You did that yourself. Yes, I raised him from the dead. Imagine what type of a church that would be. The problem is the day you raise the a, a dead person, you think I'm supposed to start a church. That's why you cannot be used. You give yourself your own, your own calling after doing what should be done. I've heard a lot of people who dream and something comes to pass and automatically they think I'm a prophet. No, you are a good Christian. They are the cold ones. They are those who are cold. Then they are those who just went. They are called the wind ones. You were never cold. You just went. Just like, yeah, I need to go now. From now onwards. Somebody here, under the influence of my voice, shall receive grace. Grace. Shall receive grace. Grace for your zero hour. Grace for your zero hour. Grace for your zero hour. Parase to you. Pastor Savannah, anything you feel the Lord is saying, just minister that song. Mm -hmm. ah. Ooh. Hallelujah, eh, ah. you are so good, you are so good. Hallelujah, hallelujah, eh, ah. you are so good, you are so good. I'm in your cell.
Omen, don't worry. Because of the way, send him. Because of the way you have believed. The way you have believed. Listen. Don't worry about it. There are those who will downplay you and say, don't be here. Don't go there. Don't say this. Don't be in this location. I'm not talking about here. It's like this. It's like this. It's a way that the enemy has tried through gossip and through people who are saying, don't be in this location. Why are you wasting your time? Hear me well. You're not wasting your time. Thank you, Jesus. You're not wasting your time. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is about to do mighty things. Amen. I receive. And have a lot of patience concerning your husband. Be patient. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Be patient. God will raise him. I, and it will answer your critics. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You are not hearing me. Amen. Professor. I'm telling you now. You know everyone here. See, I'm here right now. See, if you are listening there, you will see who is talking. You know everyone here, there can be somebody telling you, don't be this, don't be part of this church, don't be part of this church. Don't listen to nonsense. Don't listen to nonsense. I'm one person who will just speak what God is saying. You are a sign. You are a sign. There is a reason why God brought me here. You are a sign that God wants success to happen. Amen. <laughs> you know, while I'm ministering, things are happening everywhere. Listen, be patient with your husband because I saw God really protecting this thing that you have, the two of you. Don't worry. Okay, thank you, Baba. Some will even tell you, don't come here. She's not getting it. Some will even try to tell you, don't come here. But guess what? There is a vision you people were shown by God about me. It's my husband. It's like there was a cloth like this covering. Yes. Covering him. Cloth. He said, this is like this one. Eh. Yes, Baba. Yes. With a white cloth. With a white cloth. Is this exactly. not white? I don't think he, but listen to me. Listen that. to me. But that, that alone yes. has caused you to not have issues. But let me tell you something. I'm not your spiritual father. Go deeper. <laughs> ah. The reason why you are being blessed is because God has already given you a man to cover you. I'm just here to confirm that man is the man of God for you. Thank you, Baba. Thank you. Thank you. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. And he's a prophet of God. I'm a daughter of Prophet Imano Makandiu. Thank you, man of God. I was attracted to that corner based on that. And when I saw it, it was like the owner. Okay. How many children do you have? <laughs> Men of God, I have one. You have one, wait. Do you see me here? Do you see me? Are you looking at me? You, you really know me? What is my name? What is the name of your child? You pet. <laughs> Major prophet. One.
one thing about God is this. Prophet, God, uh -huh. you bet is just stand with me here, prophet. This is you bet, right as what you are prophesying. Let's celebrate Jesus. It's too deep. Let me tell you something. When God blesses something, that thing will speak what God is speaking in that moment. It's only what truth you are given that you should utter. Don't alter it. Speak it. But I understand something. I'm going to give you something, lady. No, raise your hands. Ah, Roseko. Be patient. Your husband is really, really following the action that's above him. And there, is, there are things that you will begin to do that will confront every enemy that, will, that had told you to leave that church. Everyone will have said, oh, leave. This, that, that will be confronted by a miracle that is about to come. Yeah. Same with you, you here. Everyone who has ever said the word against me will be confronted by a miracle that will happen to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Felix. I'm yes. Ask her. There is something with a name like to do with the Lord. Like, you know, the Lord at the end, like Ishe Mambo, at the end. Barase, Frektoushke, Feraskes. Hale, 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 Hale. Just a confirmation of prophecy. This son, the other name of Hubert is Matipa Ishe. Matipa Ishe. Which is Lord. And this the lady is very spiritual. Very spiritual. Very spiritual people. Your years of being embarrassed by people, of you being a laughing stock, yes, the ending as we speak now. Hale, 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 h
in the realm of the spirit. I began to see a wind. And the wind was moving. Mm. Come here. Shara uzuzuza si susangaga. Come. The Lord, like a mighty rushing wind, will begin to change things everywhere. And I began to see as if were the angel of the Lord moving. And as the angel moved, there were things that were written of the Lord for you. To the extent that what I see and what you are doing are two different things. I know this is a license, but I'm seeing government. The Lord will give you Favor with government. You're not getting me. I receive. You know where somebody's doing something when the Lord has actually sent them into the political arena. Yeah. Open this. Open. Let me see the photo there. Mm. Ah, okay. So I'm not going to mention this name because there's a name appearing there. So I'm not mentioning that one. No, I'm not. I'm a real prophet now. I saw Tabang. Yes, Tabang, Tabang is this one. Wow. This is too deep. Look at her, look at her, look at her. I saw Tabang. But I saw your sister. Your sister was sitting with Tabang. That's the mother. Your sister is the mother of Tabang. Tabang. Professor Imager. And what I began to see was something as it were that had gotten into the family and was about to destroy your own family. Yes, prophet. Even your sister, there is nothing to write home about. Nothing, prophet. Even to talk about the father of Tabang. Nothing, prophet. Mm -mm. I speak right now. Every rearrangement of your health yes. Yes. is happening now. You came here for your health. Yes, prophet. Removed Don't worry. Hey, prophet. Thank you, Jesus. Anything we, I don't know. You see, I told you, what God has told me that is beyond other prophets is the ability to know why you are standing in front of me. It's another thing to mention your sister, your uncle, your names. If you don't know why I'm standing in front of you, why are you prophesying? Something is about to take place. I receive. And angels are already seeing what is happening. But your business also will begin to move. I receive. I receive. Business will begin to move. Hmm. 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 Who is Lydia? Lydia is the lady who was helping me in Khabaruni. She's here in Harare. To do what? What was she helping you to do? In the house. <laughs> you know I can come to you and ask you who is Lydia and you'll be like I don't know who it is uh, you will know I never I never beg down because I know God young men come here listen your son come 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 send it <laughs> You are, you are happy you have seen me now. You are happy. Yes, Papa. I'm so happy. He, he has always wanted to he meet me. He was jealous of me because you have located me almost two times. So he so was, was jealous. jealous. He was jealous. Yes, he Papa, said, why is it Papa always passed through without, That's true, Papa. Without 100%. Oh, I'm coming, sister. Don't worry. Relax. I need this to go to the lady who saw the vision of me giving them white cloth. Okay. Now, oh. 
Your mother never received this one. Oh, Stand up, stand up, stand up. Shake my hand like this. Right? Tell me what dream you had of me. I remember in a dream you you came to me and you said, say, let me just shake you right. <laughs> Hallo, 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 so ja! of the Lord moved with me and it's explained to me something it's a project that the Lord wants to give you yes, because of all the things you wanted your mother to be at peace with regards to finances yes, Papa, that it has been your prayer that's true, that if Papa. I can just save a little bit of money I will help my mother yeah, that's certainly true, Papa. because that's... oh Come on, Major. There is a stone. It is a round house. And that I see a stone outside. And the Lord is ministering to me that the angel of the Lord visited one day. And it has moved you all now. From that location to another location. Here we go. I saw. <laughs> Professor. The angel of the Lord is flying above Horton Park waterfalls. That's why I stay in waterfalls. You stay in waterfalls. You stay in waterfalls, Papa. Hello, 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 hello. Mondoro. Mondoro, that's where I came from. Mondoro, Papa. Why is it that when I see you pray, you are only praying for this one? For my mother. Where is the father? We separated long ago. Okay, now that's the reason. Mondoro, that's where my father is. All right, that, at least we got it. We, we figured that one. Because in his prayer, I'm just hearing you. So I'm trying to figure out why is the prayer not going to the father? Now hear this. Do you believe I hear God? Yeah, that's true. I Maybe some people here don't believe. Let me prove to you I hear. Because I went to the location where you stay. I'm looking at the house like this. Even to talk about, about the paint, it's like it's scraped like this, the house. This, this is true, it's like scraped the whole house. It's true, Papa. It's true. It's true. Then I see like just a few meters from you, there is a woman. My Miguel. Miguel. My Miguel, she stays behind our house. She stays behind our house. Hey, the she, she's our neighbor. She's not she, our She's your what? Our neighbor. She's not our She's your neighbor. She, she went to Hello, 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 hello.
I need Pastor Felix. I need you to exchange numbers with this young man. His life is about to become better.
<laughs> Raise your hands. Just say, I'm here, Lord. Begin to tell him. Begin to talk about it. Ripasu Jatila Rasa Yakere Reso Zolo Bradava, Le Russo to Kitive, Ricatea, Yeloro Satabacadusha, Celacron, Papara Diado, Celebra Tacatebe, Tacora de Jala Bratacata, Le Pushki Bratataba, Jesus. Come, let it come. Cesarosa. Is a doja, is a rasala, in the realm of the spirit. Come close in the realm of the spirit. There is a problem. You came here. Is this your mother? Yes, Papa, that's my mother. Memo. Yes, Memory. Papa, yes. I can't take it. I'm here. I'm here to do it. <laughs> Today is your day. Yes. There is a problem with you. Right now, as I'm telling you, it's, it's here. Yes, it's one of your kidney. Yes. The other one is not functioning at 100. The other one is going to 70% now going. Yes. Yes. Deliver the major. Have I ever prophesied to you before? No, Papa, you have never. No, this is the first time. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Show me the picture. Maligazazu, Gizavuriat. Ah, you better enjoy it, Tisaki. Masonia so garasin. It's like the enemy. Prophesy, Papa. He has been tended to nothing. Yes, it's true. Tend to nothing. Give it's me a pen true. and a paper. Pen and a paper. See, this is how God speaks, eh? Zeno Shengradus. Oh. No. What, what I would do is because, do you know something? I would do two things. So that you know, I know. This is not some fake stuff. All right? Just for your sake, I will write. I will write a. I will write another thing on top. So you know, I know. This. I'm covering what should be known. What is written there? Bold. Bold. What's the name of your brother? Courage. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Here is what Mdiwa would know. There. What is written? Director what? Director Ted. His other name is Courage, okay? So now, my sister. <laughs> oh, okay, I get it. Come. You're not married yet. How old are you? I'm 23. 23? Yes. Okay. Now, what I'm seeing, when I called you there, I heard a sound from heaven. That's why I came to you. It's a sound. And the Lord was ministering there and was giving me a sound. And he said, you are preaching about the sound of an archangel. It was as though he was saying, it's the melody of the archangel. My name is Melody. Your Papa. name is Melody. Yes. Okay. Now. Don't be. Don't my, be like us. Are you a member of this church? 
don't be, don't be, you know, I know you are a daughter of you, better angel and stuff. But, you know, sometimes you have to give these boys a chance. As I'm talking to you now, as I'm talking to you now, I see young men. Even you, Malay Sakosha. Your problem is you were not really confident. <laughs> Professor Ivan. <laughs> this in your head multiple choice no you know exactly what God is telling you you were even ignoring a certain man hmm? remember the one who got you through Facebook yes Papa James Chizimu it's true, sir. <laughs> go to Facebook is this Facebook? Man is Shoprad is a Torekai. Prezuka Radandu is Shika Baha. You were like ignoring him. Is it him? Ah, don't get into Facebook now. James is here, prophet. It's too much. James is already here, prophet. It's really a multiple choice. I think we need to stop the service now. I am back! And on this note, next Sunday, we will be called Sunday of Extreme Prophetic. Extreme. want to show you who is boss in the prophetic and listen you don't need to look no further I am the boss boss the lion is back high definition the lion is back hey. The lion is back. The lion. My papa be the one in a million. Prophetic reaching a billion. The barrels pray for a zillion. Why you the attack man of God? Why you the attack man? Why you the hot top major, prophet danger? Why you the hot top major, see ya? Why you the hot top man, nigga? Why you the hot top baroness, bulldozer? Never touch the anointed, game over. The lion is back, back, the lion is back, in the jungle. My papa be the one in a million. Prophetic reaching a billion The lion is back King of the jungle Believe and 
him the proof I think he's a good man Not a bad man yet To the most high guy If he pass that phone with the answer You see your problem gone Money have his people on the left yeah Fashion and style have his set yeah Your problem a right have his trap yeah The judge a good life have his set yeah No papa be the one in a million Prophetic reaching a billion Deeper rounds pray for a zillion Followers on Insta one million Eli on his back Reaching a billion Till I hold his back King of the jungle Stepping out the church Dying out the place Stepping out the grace Devil not the case Need for speed number one in the race Two blades we don't settle for less Papa be the one in a million Prophetic reaching a billion Deeper rounds pray for a zillion Followers on Insta one million Till I hold his back Back Till I hold his back, king of the jungle My papa be the one in a million Prophetic reaching a billion Till I hold his back, king of the jungle Till I hold his back, back Till I hold his back, king of the jungle My papa be the one in a million Prophetic reaching a billion Till I hold Why you the attack man of God? Why you the attack major prophet danger? Why you the attack major see Why you the attack man? This is yes. prophet. This is a confirmation of the communication of this young lady and James. Hope, hope it's safe there in the streets. Ah, good news to you. Ah, you know. Good news to you, Melo. That's Good it, that's it, you. that's it, that's it, that's it. Enough. No, how can you ignore good news, Melo? It's good news. Good news to you, it's your brother. You should reply now. Mm-hmm. And I like the way he said it. He said, Melo. This is where I caught the whole situation. What color is this jacket? No, you know. I don't know. Maroon. Maroon. Mm -hmm. What is this the nearest color? If you look. Huh? What is brown? That's my same name. <laughs> ah, Sabre Magute Tanya and Nyangui. Ew! In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, around the world and those who are here, by prophetic decree, the Lord is on you 24 7 prophetic surveillance. Nothing will happen to you unless the Lord speaks it. Amen. May healing be yours in the name of Jesus. Healing be yours. <laughs> Anticipate. Anticipate. I said anticipate. Anticipate. I think we are taking too much time, yeah? We're doing too much. You people, you. 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 So this coming week, extreme prophetic plus your family deliverance. I don't care. Take your mother, your father, your cousin. Then they be here. Everything will be dealt with. 
Everything will be dealt with. We are changing our service from 10.30 to 11. So we start arriving 11. Don't be late. Because some of you will think, oh, Angel always comes at 12 or 1. No. I did it because we had conferences all this time. All right? But this coming week, 11 be here. Latest will be 11.30. When you arrive, we would have finished deliverance. You might need deliverance from being late. Things are going to happen here. Things are going to happen here. Things are going to happen here. We are going to have a lot of people congregating here. A lot. What is this song again? Do something. I'm about to finish. I'm about to finish so I can let you go home. Remain here. Remain there.
Bata open doors They say to me I can do bata They want me for when I can gather My be man of God pray for me Father I'll do something But I did a good touch it on me I want to go me Kwacha, ata kupiga nia Ukombi wako, eh, eh, eh Separated Separated, let's go Oh yeah, yeah Achi, achi donate Oh yeah, yeah Step on the place and bring a different atmosphere Child of a king, I'm on the missile not common when I'm different Separate, separate Separate, separate Used to under and now they over it Separate, separate Men I was lifted yeah. Separate, separate Used to under and now they over it Separate, separate Men I was lifted yeah. When I met the prophet, I found any scare. I was saved when he spoke the way. From the pit to the palace, look at the bling, I'm a child of a king. It's the spirit singing when I sing. Gonna need. When the enemy come, I go bring them down like David with a sling. Naka peace, one with Chaunga. Chaunga. Angels everywhere, Nakura, Rama, Lefe, Kudenga. Step on the place and bring a different atmosphere. Child of a king, I'm on the missile. I was separated, not common when I'm different. I'm different, I'm different, yeah. Separate, separate, I'm different, yeah. Separate, separate, used to under and now they over it. Separate, separate, men I was lifted, yeah. Separate, separate. Da kachene skome na pole, pole I'm for you, you for me Da kapis kwa mucha hunga Angels everywhere nda kura rama lefe kudenga To global to be loco Sandi chagandi kwe koko Da kapis kwa mucha hunga Angels everywhere nda kura rama lefe This young man is very good. Very good. Mm, mm, mm. The lady I called from the terrace, come. The lady I called from the terrace, come here. Come. Stand here. Send here because of time. Listen to me. Don't worry. Who is this one? It's my mother. Now, let me tell you something. Because, see, these are things that we say when we say next week, bring whosoever you can bring. Anybody connected to your family, we cut all the lines will be cleansed just this coming week. They'll be cleansed. We are not leaving anything. We are going to turn every screw. Tighten the whole family. Listen to me. There is a move of the spirit that is coming. But I'm seeing a problem. It's like the enemy is killing everyone. It's after people in your family to kill them. So when I tell people like this and I say, next week we are doing this extreme prophetic plus family deliverance. They say, ah, what is that? Family deliverance. Some people just, I'll just go. No, imagine what I'm about to touch now. Hear me. I saw a gathering of people discussing how to kill your father. And I saw that they succeeded. Even this last year. My father before Christmas, yet. before August. 
25 July. <laughs> you died 25 July. And it was as if there was like a cancer, but it's not a cancer. The doctor said it's a cyst. Yes, it's true. It was growthy. How do you see what the doctor says? You are a prophet. Now as I'm talking to you now, it's like your mother has been affected now. It's true. Blood. Yes. You took blood. Even fallopian tubes, the <laughs> eggs, it releases the eggs. It's me. And sometimes the thing grows in there and then the thing comes out. <laughs> huh? That's very it's true. It's true. Huh? What is true? She had a miscarriage, prophet, right as what you are prophesying. I change the predicament is removed. I change the system in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I saw, I saw, even your mother now, it's happening. Yes, it's true. It's happening now. It's yes. a problem also developing yes, in the system. True. Yes, it's true. You know when I was talking about your mom? Come close. Ah, where's that photo you were holding? You come, stand here. It's like your mother, your mom. Yes. It's like everything here. It's a problem here. Yes, it's true. They said you have a growth in your womb. Because it's here, the problem. Yes, yes, it's true. So this one is here, kidney. This one. It's another growth again. Yes, it's true. And blood it's is true, just... Papa. It's like the enemy wants this death to happen. Yes, it's true. You're the husband? Okay. Now, here it is. Oh, now this one is funny. This one is really funny. Do you, do you use minibuses to... Or you have a car? You use minibuses? Yes, we have mini. You use minibuses. You use mini, do you use minibuses? Yes, Papa, we use minibuses. Oh. Because what I'm seeing, I'm seeing you in a minibus, the two of you. And you're fighting. I know, you don't know each other. You no. don't. No. <laughs> I only saw you yesterday. I'm seeing you fighting. But as you are fighting, you're fighting for a seat. You know that small seat in a minibus? What is it called? Kadoma. I say Kadoma. You say Kadoma. Kadoma. You say Kadoma. Okay. Yes, this is too deep. She stays in Kadoma, prophet. And this was brother who used pictures you cared for also stays in Kadoma. Something under the influence of my voice, you are going to see greater things happen. I wish there was an interpreter who would actually interpret what the small city is called in this country. The small city in a minibus here in Zimbabwe, we call it Kadoma. And Kadoma is also a place. So prophet is locating that the father of this one is in Kadoma. And this lady also comes from a place called Kadoma. And they also don't know each other. And they don't know each other. People from Kadoma, you have started. I register you for finances. There is a mark that the Lord is giving you. And that mark will raise you to another level in the name of Jesus. Yes. His spirit caught something. There is a language of Zion. You can literally communicate in tongues if you don't want your enemy to know. You can. 
you can you are sitting here you can discuss someone in tongues <laughs> I'm here now. I want to see him. Hmm? I want to see. You are bringing him next week. Bring him. Because he's become nothing now. Yes, he sold the house, he said seven cars, but he's a gold dealer. just. Don't worry. Let him come here. You will see. You will see. Do you notice something? I'm dealing with families. When I tell you, next week is a family deliverance plus extreme prophetic. I will literally count the number of beans you have eaten. <laughs> I don't know why I see connection with something dark Duck, duck. Mazima. Mazima is my setup. Okay, okay, no problem. <laughs> Kuzima means something which is dull or dark in Zimbabwe. That's Kuzima, where Mazima is flowing? derived from. Are you flowing? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, aha. Su, 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 su. Just sit down. Just sit down. You, are you hearing my language? I like being listened to. I like it. Because when the Lord is speaking through me and I say to you, do something, it will make me move if you don't listen because it is the Lord you are not listening to. It's not you, but angel. Sit down, well. I'm coming to you. Okay. How many boys? Sit down. Four boys. And it's not like nothing has gone down. One, one, one. They all have one. Oh, yes. All four boys have one. Yes. One ball on the text to us. Yes. The other one has not gone down. Yes. Okay, give me. Oh, they will go down, no? Down! Varask! Yes! Another one. Give me three more. Mashalo Bratizu, man. Listen. Yeah. I want you. If each and every one. Now I give you your own. This is nothing. It has no power. It's just a conduit of the unction. Because I can't be there. So I'm now giving them something. Fire! Let everything you wanted be achieved by power. You are not going to remain the same. Finances will listen to you. Finances will listen to you in the name of Jesus. Yes. May power be yours. Power be yours. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I decree in the name of Jesus. To be yours. Jesus might. Be ancient to succeed. Be ancient. Out! Out! In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, that's it. Stand up. 
valley. As soon tell you. Yes, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Mm, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Raise your hands, everyone. Remain there. Raise your hands, everybody. Raise your hands, raise your hands, raise your hands. Everyone on your feet. Everyone on your feet. Everyone. Everyone. If you see someone sitting down, everyone on your feet. Everyone on your feet. And raise your hands like you've never raised them before. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. This whole auditorium, as you raise your hands like this, the Bible says men ought always to. Men ought always to raise holy hands. Men ought always to raise holy hands. Men, they ought to do it. Men ought to do it. They must do it. Mm. Men ought always to raise holy hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Almighty God. Ra Moshe Praka. Yes. 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 It's happening now. Yes. Yes. It's happening everywhere. Yes. Yes. Yes, it's happening now. Yes, all over the place, all over this auditorium. You bet angel can touch you, but now it's the Holy Ghost doing it on his own. It's happening everywhere. It's happening everywhere. It's happening everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Paratesu Shakele. Prarita Talisco. Everywhere, 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 everywhere. It's happening. By the power of the Holy Ghost. It's happening. It's happening. Sometimes. Right on this side. Right on this side. There is a move right there. It's happening. In this whole auditorium, it's happening. It's happening. Ze parate se kushakai. Resu se pare dali suja. your hands keep raising your hands keep raising your hands Some of you don't even know the reasons why we are in this place right now. The move of God just needs to be appreciated. It's one thing for me to visit you and another thing for God to do it on his own. And I pray tonight when you get home these miracles will happen all by themselves. You will be touching your family in the name of Jesus. 
Raise your hands in this whole auditorium. The whole auditorium. In this whole auditorium. Raise your hands in this whole auditorium. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. Father, by the power of the Almighty God, there are many who respond to their voice. Prayers for finances will not be. Come on, no. It shall be a declaration for finances. A declaration for finances. A declaration for finances. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Raise your hands. I want to pray for your offering. And I believe you have your tithing here. Can I get your envelopes for your tithe? Raise your hands before the Lord as I pray for your offer. Raise them high. See, if you just go like this, God bless you for saying that. Be serious about God. God has got a certain level of obedience he requires. Father, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, these that are here that are ready to give their offering to you, Father, bless their offering. Bless their offering. In the name of Jesus, as I pray right now, I want everyone around the world to see me pray for them. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the authority of the Holy Ghost, let their offering mean something to you. Let people here understand that oh, you are a God of sacrifice. A God who demands sacrifice. A God who answers sacrifice. A God who responds to a level of sacrifice. All around the world as they are about to give their offering right now. Bless them. Change them. Shoulder them. And reach them. And reach them. And rip them. Get them to another level in Jesus' mighty name. Take the best you can give God and bring it up here. Take the best you can give God. Take the best you can give God. Those, in the, those who are in the building and you want to give through Echo Cash, the code is on the screen. And all those who want to swipe, just go to the pastors on the end of the stage. Let's allow people to come. There is a lot of space and a lot of things are happening here. Let's do it real quick. Ashes. There is a lot of space here. And those who are watching internationally, whatever branch you are in around the world, be a partaker of this and make sure you are doing it.
Tithers, come to the front. If you are a tither, come to the front and get your envelope. And those around the world that understand the principle of tithing, just do it wherever you are. There is no barrier in prayer, no distance in the prophetic. And you will see the blessing that will come to these people that have actually believed the whole Bible, the totality of his word. And uh, see, oh, I need to see this family on Sunday after service. They will, they will see me after service. You all right? So they will see me. Okay. And international visitors, we have, of course, a service tomorrow. So I can pray for you all before you leave. And for the real first time of our international visitors, I will meet you at the Good News seat. I thought there were, there were many people excited about that. Thank you. And I know you... You are in good hands. Of course, we're still improving because we were not doing it. People would just come from nations and they would just come and be part of our services and never did anything. And because I'm back here, I said, I'm back here. <laughs> and I'll try that and if I have to go to another country, I have to go after service Sunday and come back maybe Friday and still be here. So I know end of this August I'll be in the UK and then September I will be in Mozambique with you guys. Are you here somebody? Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, these that have honored you through their tithing and their giving, may the cord be broken. Anything that they connected themselves to the devil with, let it be broken in the name of Jesus. Let their tithing speak. Let it give them an advantage. In the mighty name of Jesus, an advantage is already written for them. An advantage is written for them. An advantage is written for them. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You can drop it here. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much. Raise your hands. This next week, extreme prophetic. Lady, you with a nice head. God is going to use you. And it'll be, it'll be something that God will do using properties. I receive, I receive. But I even see the Lord giving you things to do with even our terror industry. God is going to put you in that. Amen. I receive, I receive. Prophet, uh -huh. the lady is confirming that she's now doing real estate. She's now doing real estate. Yes, right as I you said. I saw say. somebody like Munyesho. Yes, yes, true. 
Who is Minyesho? He's my one of my employers. My employees. Where? But back in Kenya in real estate. In real estate? Yes. One of the employees in real estate. Something will begin to take place. Amen. I receive. Mombasa will be involved. Oh, I receive. And I saw it was as if the Lord is taking the capital city with you and going to the second city and even going to the areas where there is water and sand. I receive. I receive. Things are going to begin to move for you like you've never seen in your life. She's based in Nairobi now, prophet. That's why I said capital city and going to the second city and then True, the prophet. water and sand. <laughs> Things are going to be well. Mm -hmm. Now you have double double. Barat. Barikosai. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Yes. 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 Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Receive it there. Ah. Young man. Mighty name of Jesus. You receive it. Father, in the name of Jesus. Sickness be removed. Here in the mighty name of Jesus. How old is he? Four, eight years. Eight years. So half of his life. Half of his life. Yes, I did what I, yeah, For four years. No, sickness. The doctors can't find anything. Dr. Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, here by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. Are you here? Time and chance. Time and chance. Are you ready? Say, Father God, I wanna thank you for many, many blessings on my portion. Loving you, my father's not an option. You dare be the reason I keep going. Yeah, yeah. My God, I wanna thank you for many, many blessings on my portion. Loving you, my father's not an option. You dare be the reason I keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. This is my time. This is my time. This is my time. My time to shine. This is my time. This is my time. This is my time. My time to shine. My time and chance. Time and chance. Time and chance. My time to shine. My time and chance. Time and chance. Time and chance. My time to shine. So it's my portion every day. I dare be happy. Everybody laughs at me. They think that I am crazy. Life is like a journey. Every day we keep on working. We keep on working. Yeah. My life is like a testimony. Look, I swear. Money things are gonna happen to him. Eh. When I want me to in him, come with nada. When you shout, you in him, come with nada. My life is like a testimony. Look, I swear. Money things are gonna happen to him. Eh. When I want me to in him, come with nada. When you shout, you in him, come with nada. Because I know this is my time. This is my time. Time and chance, time and chance, time and chance, my time to shine, my time and chance, time and chance, time and chance.
Jesus Christ in my heart Just him one can touch my life Can tell me that your life my friend This blessings are true and again so real Jesus Christ in my heart no team one can touch my life, I'm free Get them in a your life, my friend, and see It's blessings Who tell them, sir? Send your fire But not this is in any valley Send your fire Over the dry bones, bring them lively, holy fire But not this is, give them meaning Things as you're the offering to make up So we send fire over the hills, over the valley Anoint your servants, make them on a rally Send your holy spirit and touch everybody Make them not say Jesus, you are my party Again, with Jesus Christ in our heart Demon can touch my life uh. Get them in your life, my friend That see, his blessings are true And again so real With Jesus Christ in my heart uh. No demon can touch my life uh. Get them in your life, my friend That see, his blessings are true Listen, well me a be and me champion Jesus is my strong tower True. We talking in the body, they must take in Jesus power When we speak in the tongue power, we know the tongue deep But the blessing must go on Sing with me, praise him Emmanuel One more time is a praise him Lord of mercy with Jesus Christ in my heart Demon can touch my life Get him in a your life my friend and see His blessings are true and again so real With Jesus Christ in my heart No demon can touch my life I don't like my friend and see blessings again. There is power in Jesus' name. As you can see, there is power in Jesus' name. If you want the in Jesus' name, call on the power in Jesus' name. One more time, there is power. There is power. There is power. Jesus Christ in my heart No demon can touch my life Get him in your life my friend and see His blessings again and again so real With Jesus Christ in my heart No demon can touch my life Get him in your life my friend and see His blessings are true and again so real Hallelujah Raise your hands Can we win? Can we win, please? I keep winning, I keep winning With King Jesus, with King Jesus I'm more than a conqueror, crowned in favor I keep winning, I'm close to winning, that's what I Sing with me, I keep winning, say I keep winning This is a confirmation of prophecy. Prophet, this is a confirmation of prophecy. All right, yes. You were prophesying to this lady, and you said, I'm seeing you moving from the capital city, going to the second largest city. Not only properties, but you're going to get into even hotels. She's confirming that she's building a five-star hotel in Mombasa, which is the second largest city in Kenya. Give Jesus a big hand, somebody. I keep winning. I keep winning. What King Jesus? What King Jesus? I'm more than a conqueror. Put on every favor. I keep winning. Jesus. 
Let me tell you something. You see this Savannah here? Yeah, she's big now. But she will become bigger than what you see. Bigger. Beyond big. <laughs> now imagine Zimbabweans are even asking, is she Zimbabwean? Originally Zimbabwean, definitely. But British also. But trust me, now she's being heard around the world. They are playing, they are hearing it. I'm very spiritual. But listen. She will take over the industry. Yes! Yeah, 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 yeah! Listen. We are taking over. This is not some entertainment industry. No. People will be posting it everywhere. <laughs> ah. I spoke before she was this. I spoke before she had one song in. I spoke about it. Now I'm telling you now. Listen, come. Savannah. He wants to buy your CD for $10,000. I'm saying he. Who is changing that? Video. So, Savannah, stop singing for now. Meet him now. <laughs> there and there. You are playing. Ah, ah. <laughs> Trust me now. Some of you are wondering. <laughs> I remember. When we were in, um, in, uh, in Dubai when Craig Bourne was singing and people just started rushing to give their money to him. People were so shocked. Why? What, what's happening? Listen. Things happen. Spirit Embassy. Turn to your neighbor and say, join Spirit Embassy and upgrade your life. There is an upgrade coming. This coming week, an upgrade. You don't need to be sitting in front to see God work for you. You don't need to be. See, that's my biological sister there. She's in third row. And you'll be fighting. I need to be frank. I think camera. Camera move. Camera, camera. Move. <laughs> it shows that the person changing is not listening. The person filming is not listening. Because if the person changing was listening, they would have changed already. But anyway, you needed to see her. Did you see her? Yes. That same woman even paid my school fees. So I want to appreciate you, my sister, for paying my school fees. That was useless. Look at what I'm doing now. <laughs> I appreciate you so much. I had to go to school so that my kids know and understand that it's not escapism. It wasn't me trying to run away from some poverty. 
trying to find money in churches. No, I'm very learned. So, and I'm still continuing my studies. Once you stop learning, you start dying. Always find a time where you're working for God continuously. If there is no program, create one for God. Why? Archbishop Idahosa said one thing. He said, um, everything I came here to do is finished. That means when he said it, God had already confirmed, now you're going home since you finished. Once you finish working for God and you feel it's enough what I've done, God is no use of you here. You want to die? Stop working for God. Resign from the work of God and you have resigned from life. When Archbishop said, I don't have anything, he was confirming what the Lord had told him, yes. But at the same time, he was saying, I'm not of any use here from, for now. I'm needed in another location for another use. So please, if you're a minister of the gospel, continue working for God. Don't say, I'm relaxed, that's too much. Ah, church every Sunday, every Thursday, church. Continue, even at Friday. The more you have what to do for God, the more reason God can keep you here. Raise your hands. I just want to look at you. May God bless you. May God bless you. I love you. God bless you. What do you want God to do for you? Ah. Yeah. What do you want God to do for you? Financial breakthrough. Financial breakthrough. Imagine you are saying finances. And some people say, you shouldn't talk about money. How? Everyone is saying financial, please. Financial. It is yours. I receive. I receive. Ah. I will see you. Ah. What do you want God to do for you? I just want him to use me, sir. Huh? I want him to use me, sir. I want God to use me, sir. Where exactly? Which part of where you want to be used? I want him to use me in the ministration of the word. Receive that in the name of Jesus. A prophet. I don't want to say much. But there is a prophet. Hmm? It's like he told you to sow a house. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 This is this is between Harare and Kweru. Not on. Not on. Huh? Not on. Norton is a town between Harare and Kweru. Norton is a location between Harare and Kweru. Yes. Come here. Yeah, no problems, Papa. At first, your wife said no. Yes, Papa. That's true. I was nice. Your wife said no at first. Yes. yes she said, Papa. no, we are not doing this. Yes. He said, no, if God has spoken, we need to do it. Yes. yes. Then you went home and convinced her. Yes. yes. Then she says, okay, if that's what you are hearing, God saying, but me, yes. I'm, I don't want to do it. Don't want to so then you refused to give the prophet the house. Oh, yes. Then two elders came to your house. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Very true. Very true. To Very convince true. you to give the man of God the house. Very true. As I talk to you now, you lost the house. By and now, the, job, I'm so glad. You know, I was about to go. Help them, I prophet. I was literally going. Help them, prophet. You try to talk to them. Now, the house was sold. Yes, yes. yes it's true. The yes. house has been sold. Yes, Very sir. true, Papa. Now you are trying to talk to the buyer. The buyer refuses. Yes. Like, I bought this thing. What yes. are you talking about? Don't 
Don't worry. No, no, no. Don't show because you will show people's churches will break. I'm not here to try and break people's churches. But don't prophesy money out of people's pockets. Don't. Just don't do it. Why do you send leaders to convince a person to sell the house? Then when you take it, you know they're about to come for that same house. So you devise a plan to say, I'm now selling. This coming week, as I do the family deliverance, all right, I want to see this couple. Okay? Thank you. So talk to the pastor. Thank you, Jesus. Do you see what gets prophets to have a bad name? It's not even that. It's just some things that happen. You understand what I'm saying? Don't, no, don't. It's not necessary. People, if they want to give you their house, they'll give you their house. But if you convince and say, God is speaking now, give me your house now. Hey! See, when we tell you why it's important sometimes to have a man of God who is already blessed. I'm not saying if he's not blessed financially, don't go there. No, they are also called. But let's be serious about what we do. I'm here to raise your life. If you are broke, I'm here to do something for you so that you rise. You're learning, right? But anything around me can just happen. So what we do here is not normal media. No, it's different. Because God can just choose to do something with someone next to you. And yet you are focusing on something else. Mm. Mm. Yes! First to first. First to first. First to first. Oh, Makarabaya. Eh, it's you, man of God. Prophet. Ah, 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 ah. It's, ah, ah, it's him, man of God. Ah, I've been waiting for this day. I've been dreaming about you. Several times I saw you recently. Father, in the name of Jesus, I, by the authority of the Spirit, times, it is well, it is well. Balashte, Praristo Valis, it is well. Listen, guys, I love you. Otherwise, I forget this service will not end. We have next service. Raise it up high. Raise it up high. Raise it up high. Father by fire. Let miracles happen for you in Jesus' might. Good to see you. No, 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 no. Pastor Savannah, just stand there. Don't sing that song. We need to go home. Don't worry. We will talk. Okay? Just wait here. Thank you, Jesus. But, but don't, don't worry. God, who, who did you come here with? I came by my parents. Oh. This man here. God wants to use him. He just needs to be serious with God. And no way he's going to be used. He's going to be used in this ministry. Thank you, thank you, Prophet. He's going to be used in this ministry. And it will have to do with evangelistic. It's true, man. He is an, evan he's an evangelist. Last night he said he had a dream. And okay. He said you. I came to him in a dream. He texted me last night. Huh? He texted me last night. Yes. Oh, yeah. And he saw me, and I was wearing my black suit. It's true, man of God. 
it, it was like a continuation from Saturday. He's and we're talking about sorrows to him. He's an evangelist. He's a true man of God. I dreamt Prophet Benjo asking me what is it for me. And applied to win what? To win sorrows. He's a true man of God. He's a true man of God. Mama, do you believe I'm a prophet? You believe it? Yes, I believe it, Bob. Please don't mention the name of the prophet, please, okay? Or the church don't. Oh, yes, thank you. But who told you to come here? Who uh, told you to come here? To come here? Yeah. We just come. You, you just come here? Yes, yeah. Okay. Because she not to reach it, but she paper. A letter like this. Yes. And he said that he was at a prayer mountain. Hmm? Yes, praying sir. for you yes. and the vision appeared to him yes. and he said God said give a house yes. you received a letter from the prophet yes it was a letter it's like a small paper like you yes, yes. yes. a small, a small paper. paper go go I'm here the prayer mountain yeah. God has appeared to me give me your house give the house I don't want to say much but that's not how God works anyway. I've just said it. Fire the Holy Ghost. Haretta school. So, in the realm of the spirit, are you hearing me? Everyone here. Fire will rain. And burn your poverty, burn everything that has been missing in your family, in your house. Everything will be burned by fire. In the name of Jesus, fire. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. Pastor Savannah, do we have anything you'd like to minister in song? Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire. Fire, fire. Fire, fire. Fire, fire. fire. I saw a vision of me going home. Fire, Love you. Fire, See you next fire, Sunday. Fire, 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 fire. Let's celebrate all men of God one more time, one more time. What a ministration. What a ministration from our men of God. One more time, let's just celebrate our men of God. Let's just celebrate our men of God. It was amazing. We have IPLS training pastors to be influential in their areas. But out of the IPLS, we have a business seminar coming that will be in Zimbabwe. We teach people, even if you're a Christian, even if you're a leader, even if you're not, under the Millionaire Academy, which deals with developing business. Why is it that Christian leaders are leaving their churches and saying, I want to learn that business side of it? I know the spiritual, you are teaching me how to prophesy, you are teaching me how to heal the sick. But on this one, I want to know how to not rely on people on the pulpit, so I can have my own business. The life of Jesus will take us to heaven, but the principles of Jesus will make us rich. 